Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com with another lesson in JavaScript. Today I want to talk about the arguments object and what you can and can't do with the arguments object when it's there and when it's not there. So what, you don't, what a lot of people don't realize is when you create a function, so let's say I create a function, we'll call it cheese because why not? Function, cheese. Okay, is we'll take the parameter, so param one, param two. Then we do that, and we're gonna say we console.log param one and param two. Okay, so let's save that so far. Let me actually invoke the function. Cheese one, two. So it's just gonna console log one and two. Okay, so we define, and this is like an ES5 style function, so an old school style function. You have to do it that way. Now, here's the thing. What if I were to do Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But wait a second, my function is only taking these two parameters, param one and param two. How am, what am, I, how am I supposed to do anything with these? And if I wanted nine parameters, do I really need to sit there and make nine things here? No, what I could do, there's an object that's automatically in your function called arguments, console.log arguments. Okay, and save console log the arguments object. And there you go, so you have this array of all those values. And so basically anything anyone can pass in will be inside of this array. And then you can call it based on whatever. Okay, so long as you know what order your arguments are gonna come in as, you can just basically write your function to pull it from this array. So you can, instead of using a parameter name, you can be like arguments zero, arguments one, arguments two, arguments three, arguments four, and you're good. Okay, you don't have to worry about coming up with a bajillion different names, just pass in what you need to pass in. So this is a, a useful thing. Also, if you want to create a function that can take unlimited arguments and does stuff with unlimited arguments, you can then iterate over this array. Okay. Um, for example, let's say I wanted to do a function that adds these numbers, okay? So then what I can do is I'm just gonna get rid of these. I don't need these. I'm gonna write a function that first checks is arguments the first parameter does it equal the word add now if that is true okay what we're going to do is then arguments we're going to say my numbers equals arguments dot slice starting from index one to the end Okay, and just to make sure that that did what I think it's gonna do, console.log numbers. Okay, so that should basically take everything from the second index down, so everything through the nine, and make a new array. And then here I can just do total. So we'll just let total exist. And I'll just do that just to be good a good coder get all my semicolons in there make pretty code okay so we're gonna create so we're gonna have a total and then we're gonna have a loop uh, so for I equals zero as long as I is less than arguments dot length 
Okay, and then every go around, we're gonna add. And basically, all we're gonna do is take total, actually, make total equal zero. To start off with, total. Um, total plus equal, so that way it just adds and then equals itself. Arguments i. Okay. So I'll just keep doing that. And then once it's done with all that, it'll return total. Now, if for some reason you don't include add, it's going to return zero. Okay, let me wrap this in parentheses and put a console log in front of it so we can log it to the screen, whatever the return value is. And let me get rid of the semicolon here. That's gonna cause an error. But I wanna put a new one over here. Save. Okay, zero. Oh, because did I not pass in add? Oh, I didn't ask the right question. Is argument zero equal add? That's the expression we need. Okay, inside the arguments array, there was no property named add, so that's that failed. Okay. Mm, arguments that slice is not a function. Let me think about that. Arguments is an array, so I should be able to use slice. One. Hmm. Okay, so the issue is that arguments is not an array, but technically it's an object okay so technically those are properties and that we should have seen that right away because we see the curly brackets here so technically if you wanted to turn it into an array you would have to uh, change it into an array so uh, basically the kind of iteration I was trying to do here wouldn't work as is okay so there's a couple of things we can do we can um one way we can do this is we can turn We'll just say arg array. We'll use a array. We might be able to use the structuring for this. Let me think about how I would exactly put this. Um, mm, 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 mm. What we oh wait, wait, what we can do is just do this. We can just do arg array equals and then it's going to equal an array, but with all the object, all the um, values of the object, of the arguments object spread out. So this should do that, console log. So first let's describe that. Let's console log arg, arg array to make sure that we're all in good. Console.log arg array. Because again, the curly brackets, I mean, these square brackets, say hey this is an array and then we're using the spread op operator to spread the object within there so let's do it oh I still have the slice so I'm sure that's why okay so let's just do this our array our Array. Arg array. Arg array. Okay, so let's run that again. Okay, good, so yes, it created the array with all our elements. 